Yo, what up, YouTube? Nigga, ah, oh, it's Cam Rock. Man, you know, I just thought about something. You know, when you move in a school of fish, humans, we're like fish. We're just the land fish, you know, the dominant life form of the sea. We're the dominant life form of the land. There, they got fish types, you know, meaning everything that fucking swims, nigga. When I say fish, I'm generalizing the fuck out of that shit. I just mean ocean life. I probably should have said that, huh? But fuck it, I wanted to say fish, god damn it. Anyways, you better pay what you owe me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yes, that is another video of mine. My ignorant ass. Anyways, um, so, if you're a school of fish, people like me, I go my own way. I'll follow the group like a motherfucker when I see things are working well. So, you know, I know how to be a team player, that's for damn sure. I've done sports plenty of time in my life. You know, uh, I've been in the military even, and you know, yeah, right, I've done, I went to college, I don't know if that, yeah, yeah, that's kind of follow, it's following an example, set down by my mom and society, right? So, you know, i followed plenty in my life. Uh, I'm a firm believer in waiting in line, things like that, but I'm also a uh, uh, disruptor of, uh, of the, uh, you know, the order of things sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I'll, uh, you know, I might be amongst the first of the niggas to break the rule. You know, when it's like we post a walk straight and don't look left or right. You know, let too much shit be going on over here. I'm gonna be the first nigga looking over there in that bitch. You're not the first, but if I see two or three of you motherfuckers, you know, the first thing I'm finna do is look at other niggas and see. Are y'all finna look too? Because, you know, and I got that mindset from being the youngest of two siblings. I had an older brother to watch do everything first. Now, the smartest thing I ever did, I think, in my life was being smart enough to know, watch the oldest do the shit first and see if he gets fucked up. Because my brother got fucked up doing shit all the damn time. And I just learned so much from it. Made me very fucking smart. I was like, damn, he did this and this happened. He flipped over that away and the nigga got fucked up. He fell off the jungle gym, the slide. He went down the bitch back. All kind of shit. You know, so I'm watching him and I'm like, damn, I won't be doing that shit. You swing on the swing that way, you get fucked up too. Well, goddamn, I won't be doing that either. And so many of you kids out there, I feel bad for you. If you're a single child, you ain't got, you know what I'm saying, that. Uh, my son, he the only, you know what I'm saying, for now. I mean, I want to and plan to have more kids, but, you know, for right now, I only got the one. And it's like, so, yeah, he like to do little shit, dart, run off into the fucking parking lot of a fucking busy-ass Walmart and all kind of crazy shit. And we like, what the fuck, you know? You, you let his hand go for two seconds. This little nigga just, ah, 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 and you looking at my crazy ass going, yes, nigga, small are you? Oh, yes, nigga. We shocked he ain't doing worse than that shit. He should be jumping on cars with his dick out, pissing to him, some nah, 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 freestyling. Nah, 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 Pissing on the cars and elderly white women's wigs. That's where Miss Dorothy got pissed on from. That little nigga did it. I'm telling you, he's... He's a menace to society. <laughs> Talk about my son now. Anyways, nah, but like, nah, I love my little boy. Y'all know that. Anyways, uh, you know, I uh, rarely put pics on there because I always talk shit about of my son because I always talk shit about people who put pics of their kids on the internet. And I feel like, well, that ain't right. It, mainly, it's the dating websites. I don't like feel right about when, you know, women or men put pictures of their kids. Mainly women, you know what I'm saying? I don't look at guys' profiles, but I just know on fucking women's profiles, you know what I mean? It's it's just abundant. I see a shit ton. I know y'all trying to let us know, which we appreciate. I appreciate it. I do want to try to sometimes avoid if you got kids too many or whatever the case may be. You know, yeah, I might want to, you know. It depends because it's just social things that go on with it. You know, do you want to deal with that socially? It's a matter of preference, and I get it. And you got to respect people's, you know, things. Uh, you know, whatever they want to deal with, don't want to deal with, you know, right. Uh, you know, I used to be the person that would diss somebody. You ain't a real man if you can't do this, if you can't do that, if you can't be monogamous, if you cheat, whatever, whatever. Well, after doing all the same shit I used to judge motherfuckers for, I no longer do it. And I'm like, all right, so really it's just a matter of whatever your situation is, you'll fucking do whatever the fuck you need to do in that situation. I mean, it's like, right. So if I'm in a school of fish, the back of my original shit, and we all swimming, you know, a school of fish is, you know, y'all small, but hey, together as a group, and there's a hundred or a thousand of y'all, you're a big-ass mass. So ain't nobody gonna fuck with you, except for the absolute biggest motherfuckers. Now, the shark and them, get your ass now, because, 
you know, it's a bunch of you can eat your one. Whales without schools of fish swimming in a group would starve if they couldn't eat a big glop of a thousand of them in one big ass bite. You know, right. Because by my damn self, that whale nigga catch hell trying to catch a nigga like me by my... I'll be dodging this nigga, motherfucker, darting this shit. You know, by my damn lonesome. But let four or five, you know, just slightly bigger fish come after my ass solo. They might get a nigga, you know Yeah, they might get a nigga. Now, if I'm in the wide open ocean, you know, yeah, I got a lot of options, nigga. You know, right? Then again, so do they. Who the strongest swimmer? Eventually, they gonna probably catch my ass, like, right? But, uh, you know, so in that group, slightly bigger motherfuckers can't get you. That's the advantage. Which, me, I'm totally with that. I'd swim with the group. Then as soon as I see four, five motherfuckers get knocked off balance or a big whale coming toward us, and I'm like, hey, y'all, this nigga coming. Hey, y'all, quit swimming. This nigga coming. Fuck it. I'm going to just go off course. I'm like, I'm going to be among the first niggas, if not the first nigga, to dart my ass out the way and knock three or four motherfuckers out the way, on my way, to getting the fuck out the way. Ah, nigga. I Kale, what the fuck is you doing, man? You knocked me out the way. Nigga. Yes, because another nigga is coming. Bigger nigga is coming. Uh, uh oh, hey y'all, Cam running this way, and he's still alive, and y'all getting eight over there. I'm gonna go over here with Cam. Up, oh, Cam just got eight. Never mind. I'm gonna go back over. Here. Oh shit. Never mind. I'm just sitting my ass right here in the middle. Nope, niggas coming. Let me just do what Cam did and hope I get lucky. You know, I'm that nigga. You know, I'm the first to dart my ass away, but I'm also the first to get caught sometimes. I'm the first nigga to try to uh, do the evasive action shit. Yeah, now, I'm learning now as I get a little older. Sometimes you wait a little longer, but that patience game is a tough mistress. You know, like you, the last thing you want to be is, you know, one thing, reason why I act right away is because my biggest regrets in life was acting too late. I'd rather act right away, goddammit. In some cases, it depends. When it comes to saying the wrong thing to somebody, you do want to take your time and just think about it. In that case, you don't want to act right away. But when it comes to, hey, somebody suspicious came in the room or the bank. And maybe I should just go on, say fuck it, and lead a line and do my shit online, like from my cell phone, like everybody else. You know what I mean? Like, uh, do I really need to be in the line right now? This nigga with the trench coat don't look. Hmm. I'm gonna just ease. You know, when your nigga sense is tingling, go and follow that motherfucker, nigga. Tip the fuck out the goddamn line and go your ass to your car. <laughs> Now, don't call. You don't necessarily need to call 911 unless you get in your car, close that door. As soon as you hear, boom, your door closed. You hear, boom, 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 boom. Extra booms. Ba 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 ba. Then, that, that might not be other car doors. I don't think the bank that popular that day. Uh, the parking lot ain't that big. Nigga, ain't that many cars out there. They might be getting robbed. Nigga might be busting caps and asses. Then you can go and break your cell phone all night. Listen, I'm snitching. I'm hearing motherfuckers shooting in the bank. Uh, huh. Yeah, I can't tell you. I won't be here when you get here, nigga. I'm driving the fuck off now. But they back there, though. And if you want to get them, the nigga in there, yeah, it was a nigga in a trench coat. That's what I saw. But I left because he made me uncomfortable. But it could have been that nigga in the glasses. You don't know who the fuck it was. I left. I'm the fuck out of there. Just know I was in there like 30 seconds ago and niggas is shooting now. Yeah, uh-huh. I gotta go before I fuck around and I'm helping y'all out giving you information and one of you motherfuckers is gonna pull me over and give me a ticket. This is some bullshit. Y'all know that's Illinois state law. You uh, on your cell phone fucking around. They pull you over and give you that ticket. And on top of that, for the longest time in Illinois, for many a year, you not only, when you get a ticket, speeding, whatever the case, cell phone, whatever, they take your license and you gotta retake that damn test and bullshit and pay for it all over again. And yeah, Hey, don't that suck like a motherfucker? Damn, can you believe that shit? Yeah, that sucks like a motherfucker. Uh, that's what happens when you got a lot of people getting DU fucking eyes. And I've, I ain't, you know, I've driven home drunk. I've driven home high and drunk. I, I've been, you know, but I've never driven home where I knew I couldn't do it. Like, you know, the one time I was like fucked up and I could, you know, barely walk. I literally, and I wrote a song about it too, where I like, I'm walking out the club and shit, stumbling my ass off. I walked in the club stumbling, actually. It was my birthday, nigga. It was my birthday. It was my birthday. But nigga, oh, nigga. <laughs> I was fucked up. Anyway, so, you know, these two lovely young ladies who were former stripper whores, one of whom had still remained in the stripping profession. The other one was a video vixen and or low key, the broke rappers, hence my black broke ass was able to hook up with her. So, you know, so she helped, they walking me out, the motherfucker, screaming about how they look, want some weed. And at the time, I did not smoke, so I was like, 
I, I had no weed. I was damn near about to be uh, have no bitches, cause I, I, I just, shit, you know, you, you you bitches down to go to the crib with you, nigga. You need to have a party face. We want a drink. I got that shit right here, bitch. You know, whatever you want to drink, bitch. I got it right here. That's honey. No, it ain't, bitches. Whatever you want to do, that's what it is, bitch. That's what it. Is. We want to smoke. Well, bitch, I got that shit right here. <laughs> you know, my little proper shit. And bitch, I got that shit right there. What the fuck is that? It's the super. You know, then, uh, we want to go down on each other while you watch us and take photographs. Bitch, I got a phone. That's a cheap phone. Bitch, I got a new phone. <laughs> shit. That ain't that new. Bitch, I got two. Phones, one for the plug and one for the loo. <laughs> All right, anyways, I just got the motherfucker today, and yeah, nigga been ecstatic. So now I'm, you know, you know, it's funny. I was not bumping the Kevin Gates song at all. I wasn't a fan until a nigga got two phones. Now I'm singing the shit. I'm tweeting the shit, nigga. Now I'm rapping like a goddamn Kevin Gates mascot, nigga. I'm out in this motherfucker with my little cheap ass two phone, goddamn right. You know, this was, this cost more than the new shit. This was only 50 bucks at Text Now. We're, and this is a Galaxy S3. I know they all went to the S7, nigga. Hey, I ain't balling, nigga. All I can get is that damn S3, nigga. That's all I can get, damn it. It was 50 bucks. Normally, it's 200. That's why I got the motherfucker. Because I remember when this bitch first came out, the commercials for it, and the hype for the fucking S3. That was like the big, that's the only time I really paid attention to phones and commercials was when this motherfucker came out. And I don't even remember now what all the hype was about. I just know whatever this is good, because now they're up to S7. they like, yo, we keep improving that nigga. So, you know, five more years, I'll probably get me an S7. But until then, I expect this some bitch to last. Now, this cost me $100, and this cheap-ass little Samsung, both Droid phones. I fucks with Droid. I don't know why uh, the goddamn i whatever pad pro whatever Mac, iPad, i whatever phone users, I don't know what it's called, damn it. The other phone, motherfucker. I don't know what they so cocky for with the damn, you know, all right, dude, I know Droid phones is supposed to be the pole man deal, but really, it's, it's the underground man deal. It kicked off as a, um, people who were independent programmers could put their shit on the Droid Play Store, the Droid market, and the Droid market for years was way better than that iPad store, because you could only get registered shit, and for a long time, you could only get that shit that you could buy in that store, and then now... The Play Store is more universal because they was like, dude, y'all better merge with the fucking Droid market. That's why we got Play Store now. You know what I mean? Because the shit y'all get in that damn iPlay, whatever it's called, I don't know. Y'all got the Play Store still too, but I mean, it's just like, at first it was separate and they all had different shit. Now it's the same shit because, you know, they, they couldn't survive without merging. They had to combine it. Couldn't. It was just bad business to keep it separate. It's smarter to combine it. Whatever your favorite shit is, Eventually, watch. Xbox, PlayStation, watch. Nigga, watch. And I'm a diehard PlayStation guy. I hope when they, and if it, when and whenever they do merge, I hope they keep it fucking free. You know, PlayStation Network style. Which, more than likely, PlayStation will have the advantage in that regard. Always, because of it being free. You know, uh, I know the Xbox diehard fans want to, you know, fanboys it up and you get what you pay for, nigga. The, the PlayStation Network works fine, nigga. It's your internet connection speed that really matters. That's when you get what you pay for. You don't got to charge me to play the game I already bought from you online, nigga. Just, you know, and the proof is in the pudding. PlayStation don't charge for it, and Call of Duty is doing just the fuck fine, nigga. You know, that's the reason I got PlayStation and the online shit, because I knew once me and my boy played and I first got hooked on Call of Duty, and I was like, nigga, I need to play more of this shit. I ain't get hooked on Battlefield and the other stuff. And I like them. They good game, but I ain't get hooked on I got hooked on that Call of Duty, nigga. When I first played that online, and I'm stabbing niggas and shooting, picking motherfuckers off from a distance, running up, running the gun, and changing the weapon class and all that. Nigga, I was like, oh, nigga. So my boys was like, yeah, well, you know, it's free to play. They explained to me back, you know, this is, we're talking over 10 years ago probably, but, you know, uh, well, maybe not over 10, but pretty damn close, some years ago. My boy's telling me, all right, so the PlayStation Network is this much, it's free, it costs this much to get a PlayStation, but it's free to play online with Xbox. It was whatever. Let it be a dollar a month, nigga. I don't give a fuck. It's really more, I think it's, what is it, around 10, 12 or something like that, I think. Or uh, is it 20 for the year, 24? I don't remember, but it don't matter, really. I, nigga, why? I'm not paying for that. 
Uh, <laughs> I'd ra if I can get it for free, and I know the fact, I know for a fact, free exists, and you can do it. And clearly, it's not no cost to you, significantly enough to where you gotta charge me for it, and to where you're losing the company going under. Because no, PlayStation, Sony, PlayStation is going strong as fuck. I mean, come on now, dude, really. They're releasing a new system just at the same time as everybody else. I mean, really. You know. So, yeah. But, hey, Xbox, they're not struggling. But then again, they do have a company that's already got a ridiculous amount of money under them. So, you know, backing them. <laughs> However, they, you know, hey, the system, it works great. They got great games. I got nothing against them. Like I said, one day, they'll merge. Nintendo, all that shit. Merge. Uh in one way or another like you know the droid and them they ain't merged but the play store is there how they merge it's where they merge in one way shape or form or another eventually the playstation network ain't gonna just be playstation network it's gonna be with xbox live xbox live ain't gonna just be xbox live and uh, for the people using the wii the wii u whatever the new nintendo product is eventually the online shit for all that's gonna be one and when you get on that call of duty then or some hardcore you know star wars and shit and all that Nigga, you finna be playing with every fucking body. It's just gonna be the only difference gonna be which controller you like using the best. You like that Nintendo controller, that PlayStation, which I'm a fan of that PlayStation controller, nigga. You know, I'm used to the Xbox one now, but not the buttons. Same damn buttons, but I'm not used to looking in on that four motherfuckers. I'm not used to seeing X B A and all instead of goddamn. So when I gotta get used to that, also Xbox uses a slight different on PlayStation, the confirm is normally the X located at the bottom. Yeah, when you switch that on me, and I'm just instinctively trying to go for what I know in the circle, the one to the, to the right is the motherfucking cancel, go back. When you switch that on me, I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> it make your game unique, though. It makes me remember that, okay, for your game, because you're the best show, we're going to reverse the shit and do the opposite of what everybody else does. So now the, the circle picks the shit, or the triangle picks it. And the fucking square does the motherfucking... And I'm like, oh, nigga, god damn it. <laughs> Why are you fucking up the system? <laughs> Uniformity, god damn People like... But then again, being different keeps the monotony of boredom. Hence, I'm that nigga leaving the school of fish. Anyways, uh, I'm Ken Rock. And uh, that's uh, all I'm going to do for now, man. I'll talk about more of what I think is going to be the future of gaming and all that good shit. Open world games and why I'm a fan of it. In other videos... Uh, until then, thank y'all for watching, man. Like, subscribe. Peace.